In this video, we are going to manually install Fusion Reactor into Cold Fusion. We will be using a Linux system, but the process is the same for any operating system. Manual installation will work for both the cloud and on-prem Fusion Reactor installations. This install technique is an approach that will allow you to quickly install and update Fusion Reactor, with the option to fully script the process using Bash, Python, or other tools. For the install, we will be following the documentation which involves six simple steps. The documentation will be linked in the video description. The first step is to download the Fusion Reactor files, which we can do from the download page of the website under the Manual Installation tab, or via direct download using this curl. To install Fusion Reactor, you require the Fusion Reactor jar file and optionally the debug libraries if you have a trial, ultimate, or developer edition. The debug libraries are either available as a zip file or as individual files per platform. Libraries are available for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and Arch64 systems. With the files downloaded, we now need to create a directory for the Fusion Reactor instance. In Linux, we will place this in opt, Fusion Reactor, instance, and then an instance name. In our case, we have a CF2018, but this can be any unique value. If you are in Windows or Mac OS, you would place the Fusion Reactor directory in C Drive or Applications instead of Opt. It's important to know that the Fusion Reactor directory needs to be read-write accessible to the user running the application server. Now with the directory in place, we put the files into the directory. In the case of Linux, I need the Fusion Reactor jar and the libfrjvmti underscore x64.so file. The next step is to configure the application server, in our case, Cold Fusion. The first thing to do is stop the application server. With Cold Fusion stopped, we now need to apply the Fusion Reactor JVM args to JVM config. You can do this in the CF admin panel or the jvm.config file located in the bin directory of Cold Fusion. The arguments required are the Java agent and agent path, which we copy from the docs and place them at the end of the JVM arguments block. In the docs are specific examples of installing in Cold Fusion and other servers such as Lucy, Tomcat and Wildfly if you require more detail on the JVM configuration. After the arguments are in place, we can edit the instance path to match the instance directory we specified and then set the instance name to a meaningful value. Now that the settings are in place, the only thing left to do is start the Cold Fusion server. Cold Fusion is now running. We can go to our browser and confirm that Fusion Reactor is indeed running. 